Action tonight to a shooting in the heart of one of Pittsburgh's most popular places, the Strip District. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Tomorrow morning, Penn Avenue and the Strip will be packed with shoppers, people grabbing breakfast or coffee, maybe some tourists. This morning, police were there investigating a double shooting overnight. Lauren Linder is live in the Strip with more. Lauren. Ken, this marks the fifth shooting in the Strip District since 2019 based on city records, striking two men here at 20th and Penn. When bullets went flying, they struck two men and the window frame right here at Bella Note. How it started remains unclear. It's a really nice area. When Lucas Siebert comes to the Strip District, he feels safe. So does Breon Todd. People are really friendly here and neighborly and kind of like look out for each other. They both frequent the neighborhood. Lucas and his friend Zane Johnson go to a gym here every day. And Brian comes for errands. I really like the energy over here and I like to frequent a lot of these businesses. So they were surprised to learn this was the scene at 20th and Penn early Friday morning. Pittsburgh police say around 12.45 a.m., two men showed up at a hospital, one shot in the foot, the other in the arm and leg. Officers quickly blocked the streets with crime tape and placed about 20 markers on the ground for bullet casings. I mean, it's a little bit concerning. Unfortunately, folks say these days no place is immune. It really just comes to show that Anything can happen anywhere. That's the world that we live in. People are quick to turn to guns for out of sort of retaliation and anger. Because of this, they plan to be that much more aware of their surroundings. Keep keep an eye out. Yeah. Keep head on head on a swivel at all times. This isn't going to make you not come back to the strip. No, no. Yeah. I love this area. It's a good place. But overall, it's not stopping them from enjoying a day or night on the strip. And I don't think that this one incident should deter anyone from coming here because I think it is really unusual. I think bad things happen so that, you know, good things can happen. And I think we'll, we'll take care of it from now on. Now, the head of Pennsylvania Macaroni Company here right across from Bella Note tells me in the 120 years they've been here, nothing like this has happened, at least in this part of Penn Avenue. Uh, and he says that he is confident people are safe to both dine and shop here in the Strip District. As for those two people, they both remain in stable condition at this time. No one is in custody. For now, reporting live in the Strip District, Lauren Linder, KDKA-TV News.